Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're diving into one of the most mind-bending mysteries of the universe. But first, let me ask you this. What happens to information when it falls into a black hole? Does it disappear forever? Or is there a way it could be preserved? This question lies at the heart of what's known as the black hole information paradox, and it's a topic that has puzzled physicists for decades. So, what exactly is the black hole information paradox? And why is it so important? Well, imagine a place where the rules of physics as we know them break down, where everything we understand about the universe could potentially be turned on its head. This paradox isn't just a quirky cosmic puzzle. It's a fundamental conflict between our two best theories of reality, quantum mechanics and general relativity. Today, we'll explore the origins of this paradox, the scientific debates it has sparked, and why it could hold the key to understanding the very fabric of our universe. We'll also take a look at some of the most cutting-edge theories and discoveries that might just help us solve this mystery. And trust me, you're going to want to stick around until the end, because the implications of this paradox go far beyond just black holes. Before we dive into the paradox itself, let's start with the basics. What is a black hole? In simple terms, a black hole is a region in space where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape its pull. Black holes form when massive stars collapse under their own gravity at the end of their life cycles. When this happens, the core of the star compresses into an incredibly dense point called a singularity, surrounded by an event horizon, which is the point of no return. Imagine it like this. If you were to throw a ball up in the air, it would eventually come back down because of Earth's gravity. But if you were on a planet with stronger gravity, you'd have to throw that ball much harder to get it to escape into space. A black hole takes this idea to the extreme. The escape velocity is so high that not even light can escape, which is why they appear black. There are different types of black holes. Stellar black holes, which form from collapsing stars. Supermassive black holes, which are found at the centers of galaxies and have masses millions or even billions of times that of our sun, and potentially even smaller microscopic black holes, predicted by some theories. Each of these has its own unique properties, but they all share the same defining characteristic, an event horizon beyond which information theoretically cannot return. Now, let's get into the paradox. The black hole information paradox was first brought to light by the legendary physicist Stephen Hawking in 1974. Hawking proposed that black holes aren't completely black. They emit radiation, which we now call Hawking radiation. This radiation allows black holes to slowly lose mass and potentially evaporate completely over incredibly long periods. Here's where things get tricky. If a black hole can evaporate, what happens to all the information about the matter that fell into it? According to quantum mechanics, information about a physical system state must always be preserved. This is called the law of conservation of information. But if black holes can evaporate and take that information with them, it seems to contradict this fundamental law. In other words, black holes seem to challenge the very foundation of quantum mechanics. Hawking's discovery sparked a huge debate because it suggested that information could be lost forever, something that was previously thought to be impossible. This paradox sits at the crossroads of general relativity, which describes gravity and the fabric of space-time, and quantum mechanics, which governs the microscopic world of particles and forces. It's like having two sets of rules for the universe that fundamentally disagree with each other. So, why is information loss such a big deal? To answer that, we need to understand the concept of information in physics. In quantum mechanics, the law of conservation of information means that the total amount of information in a closed system must remain constant. If you know the exact state of a system at one time, you can, in theory, predict its past and future states with complete accuracy. But if information can be lost in a black hole, it throws this principle out the window. Imagine having a puzzle where suddenly pieces start disappearing. You could never complete the picture or even understand what it was supposed to show. In physics, losing information means losing our ability to predict the future or understand the past of a physical system. 
Some physicists have tried to address this with thought experiments. Take the no-hair theorem, for example, which states that black holes are simple objects defined only by their mass, charge, and spin. No hair or other distinguishing features to hint at what fell into them. But if that's all the information we have, it seems like everything else is lost. This is why the black hole information paradox is such a fundamental problem. It challenges the very predictability of the universe itself. Over the years, many theories have been proposed to solve the black hole information paradox. One of the most intriguing is the holographic principle. This idea suggests that all the information contained in a volume of space can actually be represented on a boundary to that region, like the event horizon of a black hole. Think of it like a three-dimensional object being encoded on a two-dimensional surface, much like a hologram. Another interesting theory is the firewall hypothesis. According to this idea, there could be a firewall of high-energy particles at the event horizon that destroys information before it can fall into the black hole. This challenges the notion that crossing the event horizon would be a smooth, unnoticeable event. Then there's the concept of quantum entanglement and wormholes, famously summarized by the ER-EPR conjecture. This theory suggests that entangled particles could be connected by tiny wormholes, which might help preserve information. Imagine a pair of twins who always know what the other is thinking, no matter how far apart they are. That's a bit like quantum entanglement. If this connection is through a wormhole, it could potentially link information inside and outside a black hole. Recently, Stephen Hawking and others proposed the soft hair theory, which suggests that black holes might have a way of storing information in a subtle, yet to be understood way, on their event horizons. It's like having a massive library where all the books are invisible, there, but unreadable to us. As research continues, we're discovering that black holes might be even more complex than we ever imagined. Let's shift gears a bit and talk about entropy and thermodynamics. You've probably heard of entropy as a measure of disorder or randomness in a system. In the context of black holes, entropy is related to the area of the event horizon. The larger the event horizon, the more entropy the black hole has, and this is crucial for understanding how information might be stored. The laws of thermodynamics, which you might remember from high school physics, apply to black holes too. The second law, which states that the total entropy of a closed system can never decrease, aligns perfectly with the idea that black holes have entropy. In fact, the Bekenstein-Hawking formula ties together quantum mechanics, thermodynamics, and general relativity by relating a black hole's entropy to its event horizon area. It's like the universe is telling us, hey, these concepts are more interconnected than you think. But what does this mean for the information paradox? Well, if a black hole's entropy is a measure of the information it contains, then maybe the information isn't lost just transformed or encoded in ways we don't yet understand. It's like trying to read a book with the pages glued together. You know the information is there, but it's inaccessible with our current understanding. Of course, this paradox has led to some heated debates among physicists. The most famous of these was between Stephen Hawking and Leonard Susskind, often referred to as the Black Hole War. For years, Hawking argued that information could indeed be lost in black holes, while Susskind, along with others, insisted that this was impossible and that the information must somehow be preserved. This debate went on for decades and was a major driving force behind much of the research in theoretical physics during that time. Today, many physicists lean towards the idea that information is not lost, thanks in part to the holographic principle and other theories. But it's far from settled. New ideas and models continue to emerge, keeping the debate very much alive. For example, Juan Maldacena's work on ad SUCFT correspondence provided new ways to think about space-time and gravity, influencing our understanding of black holes and quantum mechanics. Then, there are public perceptions and misunderstandings fueled by science fiction and media portrayals. Shows and movies often depict black holes as cosmic vacuum cleaners or portals to other dimensions, 
which, while entertaining, doesn't quite capture the complexities we're discussing here. But beyond the equations and theories, the black hole information paradox has profound philosophical and theoretical implications. If we can resolve this paradox, it might change our understanding of reality itself. What is space? What is time? What does it mean for information to be preserved in the universe? These are not just scientific questions. They're deeply philosophical ones that touch on the nature of existence and knowledge. Resolving the paradox could also be a crucial step towards a unified theory of quantum gravity, a theory that could finally reconcile general relativity with quantum mechanics. Such a theory would be a major milestone in physics, potentially opening new doors to understanding everything from the Big Bang to the fundamental nature of particles and forces. And of course, there are the more existential questions. If information can never truly be lost, what does that say about our universe? Could it imply some form of cosmic memory or persistence beyond what we can observe? It's fascinating to think about, and it shows just how much we still have to learn about the cosmos. So, what have we learned today? We've explored the basics of black holes and the black hole information paradox, discussed its implications for physics and the nature of reality, and delved into some of the theories and debates that surround it. While we don't have all the answers yet, one thing is clear. The universe is full of mysteries that challenge our understanding and push us to think deeper. I hope this video has sparked your curiosity and made you think about the cosmos differently. If you enjoyed this deep dive into one of the universe's greatest mysteries, don't forget to hit that like button, share this video with your friends, and subscribe for more explorations of science and space. And hey, what do you think? Is information lost in black holes, or is there more to the story? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and until next time, keep wondering about the mysteries of the universe.